Let's have a look at how to use FlashCord File Converter. It's a utility designed to help you get vocabulary data out of an analysis window in Accordance Bible software for your own use to import into flashcard programs or perhaps into just spreadsheets that you use in your own research. So let's have a look at how to make use of it. What's great about FlashCord File Converter, it allows you to harness the powerful searches, dynamic searches that you can do in Accordance to create different sets of data. A simple example would be, let's say, for instance, you wanted to start doing some translating in Habakkuk, and you wanted to quiz yourself, review the vocabulary in Habakkuk. All you need to do, of course, is to search for all the words that are available in Habakkuk. Once you've done that, use the Details button and get yourself an analysis window, and here's all the different forms. It includes just simple lexical form and definition, of course, using the search the set this analysis display, you can see that's all you're looking for is the lexical form. You want to save that as a text file to import it as a file. You need to make sure in accordance preferences that you are exporting not as Unicode characters but as Helena or Yehudit. Save that as text file and then that text file will be your data that you use to import into FlashCord File Converter. We'll call this Habakkuk Vocab. And then you've got your resulting text file, which of course looks just like it's formatted in the same way that it is in Accordance window as well. You drag that into FlashCord File Converter. And quite simply, if it doesn't need any of the parameters, you'll It'll go to work, you'll get the spinning beach ball, and when that quits, you'll know that it has finished converting the file. And the result is a data set that looks something like this. You can see that instead of being in the format that it is in accordance, it's broken up into tab files. You've got your term, which, and then another column that repeats the lexical form, the count, the definition, and there's an opportunity for a column for additional information, which we haven't added, but let's see a more complex example of how you would do that. Instead of a search in Habakkuk, let's go back to Accordance and say in the Greek New Testament we wanted to quiz ourselves on aorist passives. So search for a grammatical tag and we will look for aorist passives and search for those and again you could Restrict this to any range, Pauline literature, etc. Doing a details and analysis button, you've got, again, displaying just the lexical forms. That's not as interesting as having a chance to sort this by inflected forms, since that's the nature of the search we're doing. So you can add this inflected form sort to the category. Keep, make sure you keep it in this order. You can also add an additional, any other information as a third item you want included in your data set probably most helpful is the full grammatical tag. So you do that. This is what the sort order looks like now. We save that as a text file. We'll call it aorist passives in the Greek New Testament. You save that and you have your resulting file here. You drag that into FlashCord File Converter and then you get the resulting data set of aorist passives and let's take a look at what that looks like inside of a text editor first. Here it is, you see the inflected form as your term and then a lexical form and a column with count, definition, other information. But what's more interesting is to have a look at that inside of a spreadsheet program where you can see the data in a more manageable format. Let's drag that into Excel. You can see here we have agliathenai, agliao, one, the count is one, to exult rejoice, and then the grammatical tagging information there as well. And then this becomes an easy way to manage the full data set that you might have created. In addition to dragging files as a droplet, you can open up FlashCord File Converter and then choose a data file uh, this way. But you also might have noticed this option that you can use the clipboard. Uh, so if, for instance, let's say you're want to do it in a quicker way, let's say we wanted to switch to the middle or maybe we decided we just wanted to add the middle to our data set. Go to the analysis tab, do a select all 
and copy that information. Then you just open up Flash Chord File Converter and use the clipboard. And you could save that as its own data set with whatever name, or you could select this Eris Passives and add it to the end, append it to the end of that file. You save. It's going to ask you, first of all, do you want to replace? After choosing yes, you want to replace it, said, do you really want to replace, or do you want to append that data to the data that is already there? If you click append, you get the beach ball telling you it's going to work, and it's adding those terms to the end of the data set you had previously. That's Flash Chord File Converter. You can find it at macbiblioblog.blogspot.com, and I hope you can find it useful.